G'day, Stephen Kerry from off the gridnoise.com again. Bit of a, a part two to how much solar do you need? I'm focusing on our our still three kilowatt system. If you watch the first part of this video, which was how much solar do you need part one, you probably would already have a, a pretty good grip on what we use here. We use three kilowatt. Now on this beautiful beautiful afternoon in central victoria got a great sun coming down over there it's a really nice day i just wanted to make a quick update still seeing shitloads of posts all over the place as i pan around just to amuse you that's that sun yeah bloody beautiful day we had some shitty weather here but yeah it's not too bad now we're we're still seeing plenty of posts go up with you know how much solar do you need and people going yeah i had a quote for 25 35 45 grand look all of that's okay as i've said a heap of times that's not an issue that's not the point you can with if you listen to what people like ourselves say with a smaller solar system a three kilowatt system a thousand amp hour battery bank the point the point is you can get by and we've done every, you know just today for instance Kerry's done the washing with a normal washing machine we run two relatively efficient fridges we've got separate 12 volt systems on the lighting so technically we run four kilowatt all up but one kilowatt is separated for 12 volt lighting and 12 volt pumps that that keeps the load off the main system but my point with this video is we're still seeing way too many people come up with these figures. Uh, they've rung the, the so-called experts up and the experts have said, oh, you need 25, 35 grand worth of solar gear to go off grid. And my argument continually and always has been, is this not a measurement of what um, supposedly the experts see as a normal urban use or is it really a measurement of what is needed to go off grid comfortably and we do not uh, watch all the other videos we've got a hundred I don't know how many we've got we've got a lot of videos up watch the rest we don't live and suffer in any way or form we don't do large generator runs or anything of the such and we certainly didn't spend 25 35 or 40 grand on solar now this is all right if you get a big checkbook and you've got you know 300 grand in the bank obviously this is not relevant to you because you'll just bolt down your 10 kilowatt and do whatever the hell you want but the, for the people who are aspiring to build their small solar systems up to you know maybe three kilowatt we're a, a living existing example as to what can be done and how you can live watch all our rest of our videos if you have any doubt we don't make any money guys so just watch them i uh, hope you got the bandwidth we actually have videos on internet and bandwidth but yeah that's the point of this video we still and we were as my other videos explained living on you know 640 watts of power now we're living on three kilowatt plus tw one kilowatt of 12 volt at the moment and we have not found an issue in close to 12 months with this new solar system in being able to run everything that requires everything that's required to keep yourself going my constant question to people is is it not so much a, and this is only applicable to the people who have not much money is the case that the people who claim that they need to spend 25 or 30 grand or 45 grand or whatever the freaking hell it is on a solar system is it not the case that the problem isn't the solar that they think they have or or have been advised to get but the lifestyle they're leading and if you again i repeat myself but re repetition is the the key to learning if you not if you have not had a look at the videos prior 
maybe you should do we do not suffer here on three kilowatt this three kilowatt system if you put it together yourself and a lot of people are scared to put their own solar together you don't have to be scared it seriously isn't that difficult there is enough spew tube stuff there's enough knuckleheads knuckle like us around to, to give you all the advice you need to put a simple three kilowatt system together and you can live comfortably and you can probably do that for even if you bought a brand new battery bank reasonable i mean not a lithium iron but a reasonable battery bank at about a thousand amp hour and a three kilowatt system you probably do it for about 10 grand 12 grand maybe maybe 13 grand all right it doesn't take 25 35 or 40 grand suggested to you by a sales rep from the local giant rep the giant solar powered rep or the local solar supplier in your area it doesn't take that sort of check it's easy i know it's all too easy uh, and i know a lot of people actually just go with oh shit i'll just get the the, the professionals in and I know that getting the professionals in is a really easy way out. And, and all right, if you've got 25, 35 grand, flame and hell, no one's going to bag you for it. But do you not ever ask yourself the question, does, does something else on your off-grid setup require funding to the point where you may be able to trim 10 grand off your solar power? Solar being the biggest killer, one of the biggest killers. I know water and tanks and stuff is a big killer. And there's some, you know, quite heavy chunks of change got to be, be put out. But is the question of how much solar you need, you need only the result of sales representatives or professionals who turn around and advise people that they need to spend these vast sums of money? All right, that's a point. So I'm going to keep this very, very short. There's only a part two edition. I'm going to bag and tag it as just solar. How much solar do you need, part two? And I'll leave it at that. I'm just reassuring people that after a year running with our 3 kilowatt, we still do some amazing stuff. Refer to the rest of the videos. We do not suffer. We do not cut corners. And we've had some pretty shitty solar weather. And we still managed to get through without a problem. I mean, there's no, no generators running here non-stop. There's none of that shit. And we didn't spend 25 grand. That's, that's pretty much, I keep referring to 25 grand. That's the base figure that we tend to see a lot. How's that sun? Yeah, it's a beautiful afternoon in central Victoria. We haven't had many good ones, but this is a good one. So that's it for this one. It's just a bit of an update and a bit of a reassurance to people. Only because we just, as I said, we, we keep seeing these posts. Oh God, I got a quote for 25, 35, 45 grand. Holy shit, I just want to jump down the internet's throat and grab these people. Now, they may not appreciate that because that's not a good thing to do. And if they've got the money and if they've got the loose change, and if you're in a position where you've got 35 grand spare or 25 grand spare, hey, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. No one's going to bitch about that. But if you're watching these videos that promote that stuff, for God's sake, have a think. Stop. Uh, stop and balk. Stop and balk for a second. And maybe do some research. Maybe ask some questions. Maybe build a bridge and get over and the bridge is down there. I oh, know, I digress. I'm going to leave it at that. It's only a quick update on how much solar you need. I still, like I said, don't like seeing all the posts and the threads go up about people who are not aware of solar. They've been all too accustomed to the on-grid connect, which is the large fees subsidised by the government. Once you go off-grid, the subsidies from the government tend to go away to some degree. And it does create a situation where most people think they're up for vast sums of money. I just have to say, jump on offthegridnoz.com, shoot me a contact form, inquiry, whatever, whatever. But avoid the 35 grand, avoid the 30 grand, the 20 grand, whatever the freaking hell you've, you know, you've been quoted. And get your better half, not your better half, you know, the, the swinging dick, you know, your husband. And get him to make some inquiries, do some inquiries yourself. There are options around that, and that's it. 
So cheers from Stephen Carey from OffTheGridKnives.com. Carey's inside baking. We're having roast out of the indoor kitchen, uh, the indoor oven today, the indoor wood-fired oven. Haven't got the fire pit going in the outdoor kitchen today. Such a lovely day. We're just wandering around doing stuff. So yeah, it's cheers from us. We'll catch you on the next one. Out for now. Hope you're having a good one. Hope it was positive. Hope you're thinking in the right direction. And we'll catch you on the next one, guys. How much soil do you really need? How much money have you really got? Cheers, guys. Bye.